Okay, so if in the case I'm playing this game and I go through here and whoops, I fall off the map. What 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 happens there? I need to reset my car's location. And we've done similar things in other tutorials, but this is how we will do it here. We want to check remembering that we when we set our terrain's height, we set it to Let's go back to here, set to, set uh, set height option under the terrain painter, uh, paint terrain. We set it to 300. <clears throat> so we know that if the car falls below 300, we should trigger something to happen. So let's do that. Let's go back to the car. We're going to go back to the race, race racer script. And in this update function, because this is going constantly over and over and over, we're going to check. Excuse me. We're going to check the transform position of the car. And it's going to be quite easy, actually. We actually need to check. We need to check. Um, we could do it. We could do it two ways. So one way is we could check if he goes more than 200. Remember, we also set the terrain to 200 by 200. We could set it that if he goes just over the map and over that way, so either he goes 200 on the Z or 200 on the X, then reset it, or negative from the zero, so anything below zero on the um, X and Z also, then we need to trigger that. But an easier way would be just to check if he's gone on the Y axis down below 300. So if the transform dot position of Y is less than, let's say, 298, around 300. If you do it at 300, sometimes it gets a bit buggy and the wheels, you know, pop through the terrain or something and technically you're still playing and you're on the map but you know the code uh, update function here in this if statement sees that and it'll, he'll transport you back when really you're still in game so we're just going to make it a little bit more lower than 300 so even 295 but we'll just go 298 and see how that works it might be a bit buggy if it's buggy then we'll set that 298 to a lower uh, figure if we if we some for some reason drop below this 298, meaning we've fallen off the map, then we want to transform the position of the car to a new vector, a new position of x, y, and z, and y, x, y, x, y, and z. Let's go and find what these positions are. We've got those three errors, that's because we haven't set the X, Y, and Z yet. So the car is currently set to, let's round these figures up, 180, whoops, not 108, 180, 300, because that's the height of the map, and 60. So 180, 300, and 60. That, that's it, that's as simple as that. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna have some other issues that we're gonna have to fix, though, such as rotation and its velocity. Meaning, you'll see. You'll see that. In a second. All right. So here's here's the bug. Our rotation and our velocity. We also needs to be reset. And in fact, we could, that bug of the car being in that sort of direction, we could just raise the uh, spawn position to a little bit higher than 300, so it drops sort of onto the ground. So let's see if that fixes that. We'll set it to something like 305. Oops, we'll play that again. go faster. You see when we get we respawn to that position we've got that momentum still from 
from the original momentum when we, f we fell off the map. So we actually need to stop the momentum and just drop us into a position. That's called the velocity. So the velocity of the car is still moving when we drop and we get respawned. The velocity variable of the car comes with us. So it continues moving forward even though we get respawned to that position. And if we illustrate it, we're, we're going this way. And when we uh, are respawned back into this position, we carry that same forward velocity and momentum when we get dropped. So that's why the car is moving. So how do we stop that? That's easy. Now this code is going to look a little bit confusing, but don't worry. Um, uh, this is what the code is doing. You don't need to remember this. Got get component. We're going to say rigid body in a special um, pointy bracket rigid body and we're going to open two brackets and then go dot velocity velocity equals vector 3 and 0 and all this line is doing is saying for the velocity of the rigid body of this car because this is this code this is where this code this uh, racer script is on it's on the car object so it's basically saying the rigid body on this car I want the velocity to be reset to zero because when we're driving that velocity increases to whatever number but when if we reset the position of the car we also want to reset the velocity back to zero let's test that play. We'll go a little bit faster. Something happened there. We've got to fix that as well. The rotate. But you'll notice that it didn't carry the velocity this time. It just plonked us in the spot and then we had to uh, push accelerate to get our momentum again. So, last thing we need to do is, you'll notice, I'll play it again actually, I'll reverse this time. See how it dropped us in the actual rotation as well that we fell off the map in? We want to actually f be facing the, the forward way as well. So, the last thing we're going to do is also set the rotation. So, transform dot rotation equals new well not new sorry quarter ah, I hate saying this um, word quaternion dot Euler and we're going to set it to zero 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 and again this looks very weird looking and complex and I'm not expecting you to remember the exact syntax for this but basically I do want you to remember what this line is doing what this line is doing is if we go click on the car we can see the rotation is set to 0 0 0 and all this uh, Quantarian dot Euler 0 0 0 is doing is setting that those three figures the same way we would set the X Y and Z figures so that's all it's doing, it's setting it back to zero, zero, and zero. So let's test it. Rotate the car. It did drop it. Let's reduce that drop from 305 to something like 302, so there's not so much of a dramatic drop. So we've reset. And what what else should we be doing here, though? We should probably be resetting the start timer, I would think. So the start timer we're going to set to false, meaning we where the timer is going to stop, and we're going to set the lap time also back to zero if we fall off. 
let's wait for that. Okay, let's see what happens now. So, pretend we've gone through, time has started. Notice that the, the timer up there shows where we stop the timer at. Maybe we also need to come down here and put in our lap time here outside of this if statement. So we always want to be updating it no matter what. Let's put that at the top here. Uh, we don't need that debug anymore. All right, let's test that. Beautiful, it's gone back to zero. So we basically reset the level. So if we fall off, we reset and we have to start the lap again. The last thing is, if we go back to our list, is, well, we've got to move these checkpoints into position, but also, we want to spice things up and make some fireworks and particle effects appear when we go through the, one of these checkpoints or the start finish. So we'll do that in the next video.